What's good guys, my name is Nazri from Elementary FX and today I'll be reviewing a trade that I took in our trading room last week. This setup was a short on New Zealand dollar so let's get right into the analysis from before the trade to during and to after the trade was closed. First of all, I identified this setup because there was a supply zone which is the red box I've drawn on the chart as well as a bearish trend line which price seems to have respected once, twice and thrice right here. So if price did come back up into it, it was likely that price would bounce off of it again. However, I had a more conservative entry slightly above the trend line because from my experience with setups like this, where there is a confluence of a supply zone as well as a bearish trend line, price would want to react with the uh, supply zone instead. So with this in mind, the plan was to wait for price to enter the supply zone before setting a sell stop right below it with my stop loss going above the supply zone right here and my initial target going back down at 50 pips below. Now you can see that uh, I actually took 60 pips off of this uh, out of this trade, but I explain in a bit why I extended my targets to about 60 pips. Okay, so next you can see that price did exactly what I had expected it to do. It broke out of the trend line, entered the supply zone before triggering my sell stop right here. Price went on to retest the trend line before going deeper into the supply zone before dropping nicely and putting this trade well into profit. Price then came back up, hovered around, um, hovered around my entry for a bit, and at this point in time, we are a few hours away from uh, from NFP, which is the non-farm payrolls. And I don't usually trade fundamentals, especially the NFP, because of how volatile price can get. Uh, but I figured this was an opportunity to increase my risk to reward uh, by extending my target. The reasoning behind this was because that. Um, during fundamentals, especially the NFP price could go both ways. It could either go up, hitting my stop loss, or it could go down where I can take more profit out of this trade. And as you can see, the gamble paid off very well as the NFP strengthened the US dollar and price fell quickly before hitting my target for a nice uh, 60 pip and 2.4 hour winner, which was previously 2 hours, so I made about 0.4 hour more. Uh, this was one of five trades that we took in our trading room where we made about slightly more than 5% in gains I think. And if you're interested in setups like this, I'll leave a link below uh, for our Telegram channel. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.